right, we're back. It is a few days later. Um, but the same situation, wife's out. Oops, so now, let's see, I know I've got these Relations between our staff and managers. We must ensure that safety. Okay, so let's make sure all my staff is happy. Who's not happy? Let's money. There you go, you buddy. You failed to complete your challenge. Better luck oh, next no, time. Wrong? You'll need it. Oh well. Alright, great safety. Oh gosh. Oh no. We gotta fix it quick. We should win that one. We must ensure that safety levels at the park are as high as they can be. Check on the state of repairs of all the rides, please, nice. so I can sleep at night. Congratulations! You've met the challenge and the prize is yours. Imagine my relief. All right, you also get these little gold things. This part. The frozen swamp's a pain right. in the neck. If your scientists are worth their pay, they'll find a way to get rid of it. Wait, so what are we doing? Oh, yeah, that thing. This must be really easy to do, because I don't remember this section this very first part um i know i know this ride i want to say that's a go-kart ride maybe i just put a go-kart ride up there i don't remember i want to say this is a big swingy ride Sorry, and let's see here. Um, I've got a walkthrough up on my second screen um, from 2004, which I guess this game would have been a few years old by that point. And they mentioned if you're going to do a balloon shop, it needs to be where there is a lot of traffic or right smack next to your entrance. Which, obviously, that's where a lot of people are coming in and out. Um, I don't want people to be coming in here without a ride. However, let's do some bathrooms. Mm, I don't want the bathrooms right there in the corner. Let's do the research on the stuff. Oh, we can't even go that way. Uh, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this. still come down this way. I do know this one gets a lot harder because you get you get locked in pretty quick. Um, the 
stuff down here. And you can already see right here. And this is taken up by the ride. We've got all that room um, in that first in that first uh, zone, the land of invention. Let me say that again. The land of invention. Here we go. Um, but this one's a lot cozier. I'll bring the path out to it. Here we go. Hmm. Should I go this way or should I go this way? I feel like I want this ride to kind of weave through the park so people have to see it. And maybe when I unlock this area, I can bring it over that way. Yeah, that looks fun. Actually, that looks pretty torturous. <laughs> Once you get into the the corkscrew part. Alright, and let's twist a few sections. I think I mentioned in the last episode, in the first episode, I guess, um, this game has a different title in Europe for some reason. is Theme Park Inc. I guess to make it more of a sequel. More of a sequel to Sim Theme Park, which I think also had a different name. In Europe, um, and that seemed like Theme Park was kind of a sequel to other games. They had like a Theme Hospital or something like that that came out before then. Um, that 
think I also mentioned, if I didn't, I apologize. Um, but by now, you're probably used to it. Um, I bought this game, or we bought this game when I was a kid. The, this was with a pack of other games. It was... I think I had forgotten SimCity and that multi-pack. SimCity 3000 specifically. It's weird looking back. I have a fond memory of a lot of games. Um, and specifically games that had just phenomenal music, um, the Spyro, the original trilogy, I'm sure I've mentioned it, I feel like most of you have probably, um, probably heard the music and felt the same way, um, that was the drummer from the police that did it, so really a talented guy, he knew what he was doing with music. The SimCity games, um, they had great, just great music. Um, I realized I that, that kind of started. Oh, good. One of the first uh, bits of jazz that I started listening to when I was a kid. I don't know if I would appreciate jazz the way that I do if it weren't for, for the SimCity games. I want people to get good balloons. Frozen swamps oh yeah, what I was trying to neck. say. Your scientists the are music in this game is horrendous. Way to get rid of it. I don't know why I liked this game so much. It had to have been for a different reason. You don't really need to get a great gardener. I mean, there's no plants out here. Landscaping. The frozen swamps of pain Land in the neck. Landscaping. Okay. And I calculate that a new to... challenge is available. I'm gonna have to use one of my golden tickets. I think this is the hot dog challenge. No nope, park attendance. You have to get more people into the park. Forty people. Popularity is everything in the world of theme parks. Hmm. How many people do I have now? Seventeen. Oh no! Most people say it's messy. Gotta hire a janitor. Good janitor. What mess? I don't see any mess.
the walkthrough says fry, uh, fry stands are really bad. Gotta get get rid of them altogether for hot dog stands as soon as I can. But hot dog stands make a lot of trash. The gauntlet's been thrown a down. A new challenge is available. Profit maximization. Okay. Okay. Now what? There's another themed zone in the pipeline, and we'll be looking for a senior manager. Interested? Well, keep up the good work, and that job may be yours. Oh, I need to go to the land of invention. I actually am gonna stick around here for a little bit. Just for a little while. I want to get this park more up and running. That will help me down the line. And I really don't want to have to load the whole thing again. Because it did take a few minutes. Okay. Um, hmm. Challenge is available. Another new challenge. This guy's apparently the only one doing the challenges out here. Because he's fat, he can take the cold. Let's see. What else can I put down here? We should probably put some bathrooms down here too. drinks. He's facing away from them. I don't think it matters, but... I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure you have to do greenery at the exits. Because that keeps people from throwing up or something. I don't know. There's another themed zone in the pipe. That's not what I meant to click on. It's only about 30 people. This... This park is probably one of the hardest. Um... Just because of the amount of space. Like, you can already see, I've spaced everything. And you kind of get these dead zones. And you can already see the flow of traffic. People are coming over here, but they're not coming over here anymore. That's always hard to deal with. Like that's a... This is a big, crazy roller coaster. Oh, I could do this. Hmm... <laughs> get 
this to work. Oh well, we'll do it this way. Maybe this will get people to come out here, to this side. My guess is people won't want to come out here. Maybe we can give them a reason to... People are coming out here. Okay. I'm gonna do the grab a prize right there. I wanna have some good prizes. just shot myself in the foot because now people are coming to the left instead of the right at all. Let's see what these people do. Looks like they're just going in a circle. Shop needs to move. Let's put it right there. We get good quality goods. See how many people are in now. 31. Okay, what are some of these challenges? You have to get more people into the park. Popularity people. is a we've got we have to beat our competitors and get our profits soaring. I'll be watching you every step of the way. Don't fail. money we're making. I don't know if he's talking about profit or income. I'm afraid that he's talking about income though. So, we, um, my wife and I have discussed what makes a Christmas movie a Christmas movie, and I've had this discussion with a handful of other people. Um, her stance is, because there's snow in a movie, it is automatically winter, and therefore winter is Christmas. Um, so this is the Christmas, Christmas park, according to her. Which I don't really have a problem with. Down to 28 people. 29 now, because I watched that guy come in. So, 
the third Spyro game when I was little. I feel like the story is we... We got it, got the PlayStation and the Spyro game from Toys R Us. It's a long time ago. Um, if my math is right, um, I would have been about six, six or so. Maybe a little younger. I don't know for sure. Pretty sure six. Five, six, four, five or six, somewhere in there. Um, I think because that game we got at Christmas time it is associated with Christmas in my mind. And I have been thinking about other things that I associate with Christmas time. And also why. Um, me and my brother, um, we would wake up, well, most of the time he would wake me up first. Um, and he'd say, we can't go downstairs, because that's where the presents were. Um, we're going to play video games until mom and dad are up. And, like, if I even start to think about Christmas, those are the thoughts that I have. Um, let's see. Looks like everybody left. Where's everybody? Looks like people are just unhappy. We gotta have our stuff. Go make people happy, little fish man. I don't want two fish people. I guess I gotta make a penguin man. Go make people happy, penguin man. Um, we would play uh, the NCAA football from 2004. That's what we had available. Splinter Cell, I think, was the most recent that we played when we woke up on Christmas, but we would go downstairs if we needed to, probably eat food or something. Speaking of Christmas time, it is Christmas. Um, yeah, I'm going to swap to the other park in a minute. We would go downstairs and we would uh, put our hands up uh, like a blinder so we couldn't see the what presents we got. And I don't remember doing that very often, but it feels like we did it every year for a long time. Year end. Yeah, the profit number is the income. Okay. All right, let's swap to the other park. All right, I think I have like one thing to do here. There's another themed zone in the pipeline, and we'll be looking for a senior manager. Interested? Pranks. Oh, well, keep up the good work. That challenge. job may be yours. Oh, okay. I have a com I have a specific challenge. The, uh, the very handy walkthrough that I've got up down here, they made a suggestion as to how to do the, do I even have the cameras? The security cameras. I don't even have them yet. Okay. We're going to research the security cameras. That would be very helpful. Oh, that's the training room. That one. That'll cut. 
down on the pranks. Urgent wage demand. Yeah, that's fine. You got a family too, my guy. Little light bulb man. Oh no. Oh, I don't know why they have to tell me. It broke down. Get someone out there. Okay, let's get some more. What? Oh my gosh. I know. Alright, um. Wait for there to be a prank. And then do the security cameras in that area. I think that just makes sense. Because it'll show you where the problem areas are. Get some security. Extra security. Okay. What was the challenge? Pranks and customer satisfaction. How do I even get it? How do I get it? What have I done? Let's get the hot dog stand. Go to these fry shops according to the, the walkthrough there. Where is everyone? Uh, I see some people on the coaster. Is this park bad? See, it looks like there's nobody here and there's 42 people. Yet the other park, the Christmas park, it looked like it's pretty full and there's like 30 people. for a good hot dog. Okay. I would not pay $40 for a hot dog. And I don't blame anybody else for not wanting to do that either. Look at him lining up. Oh my gosh, she just mangled herself. Yeah, clean it up. How do I get the pranks and customer satisfaction thing? I calculate that, that a new challenge is available. No. That ain't it. How We've got dogs? too many hot dogs. Sell them all. 30. 30 hot dogs. Uh, <laughs> How many people do I even have in, here, in the park? Forty-seven. I think let's do the hot dog thing. Looks like they're all coming straight up here, anyways. Might as well. We've got too many hot. And here's a trick. Make it so we barely make any money. Actually, we're breaking even on it. I'll make a dollar. I don't care. We've got too many hot Look dogs. Sell wrong. them all, or I'll make sure everyone knows how much you cost the company. We're zooming. We're zooming on hot dogs. Excuse me, who wants a hot dog? Let's put some more hot dog stands up here. Do it the same. Where'd the 
drink shop. On this side. Oh lord. Uh. Oh man. Ah oh, jeez. Ah, oh, gee willikers. I can't believe I did that. I kinda can, though. Right. And copy this one. Okay, so you met the challenge and won the prize. Don't gloat. That's nice. my job. It was easy. Alright. Dude, I can't imagine $15 worth of hot dog. I don't know how... That would be a gigantic hot dog. Done this There's another themed this zone episode. in the pipeline, and we'll be looking for a senior manager. Interested? Well, keep up the good work, and that job may be yours. Turn that old boathouse by the lake into some kind of special ride. Okay. How do I do that? sound this oh okay I need two gardeners that know how to landscape I'm afraid this is just gonna be a long episode I might just cut out some crap I don't know what crap to cut out, but... Landscaping? Isn't it a bit late for landscaping? Here we go. It helps when you read what you're supposed to be doing. Everybody's gonna think I'm dumb. Alright, we want... We want ride upgrades. Let's get some more scientists. Research some more stuff quicker. I wish I could hire people quicker. Um, the Christmas topic that I was talking about earlier. What are some things that are closely associated in your mind with Christmas time that, if you really think about it, really have nothing to do with Christmas time? I... mentioned on hey, the hey, a new challenge is Harry available. Potter video that it seems like time kind of like the pacing changed in the Harry Potter books around Christmas time so people have this associa uh, association with Harry Potter and Christmas I 
I just wanted to this ride is just some customer great. satisfaction. So was please keep the customer lady. satisfaction on it as high as you can. Ciao. Make sure no pranks occur in this ride's vicinity for 30 days. Okay, we, so the trick for this is you really have to only get a couple people to ride this. Yeah, get back to work, man. Did I actually get the... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, let's upgrade it. Just right off the bat. We'll make some things to go along this path, but I think one, one thing that would be really helpful would be the info kiosk. Let's get some more ride upgrades. Money, money, money. Okay. To get more people going this way, let's do. People love bathrooms, right? Is that what everybody's into? Do I have someone trained in ride upgrading? Gosh, I clicked on it twice. You. Learn how to ride upgrade. There we go. and drinks. And a trash can in the middle. I'm good at games. mouse info kiosk okay basically we want to catch people on the way in right off the bat tell them about the great lake Everybody get to the Great Lake. Alright, what is customer satisfaction? Oh, it's super high. This challenge is going to be simple. This ride is just great. This ride is just great. So, please, keep the customer satisfaction. Oh, uh, people, people aren't riding it now. I still only had two people ride it? Okay. Mm, okay. Let's 
let's put this over here too. And a grab a prize. Because I moved so far away, let's put a janitor down here. Oh, that person's writing it. Let's see what they see. Let's see, is this one where you can control it? Oh, nope, never mind. I hate it. Oh my gosh. It's awful. Get me off this thing. It was terrible. This ride is just great. So please keep the custom. All right. As annoying as the voice acting is, that's mostly I think because it's repetitive. It is actually quite charming. I enjoy it. I'll leave those out of his. Uh, have any reason to change them? Oh no, somebody's trying to quit. There you go, more money. Oh my gosh. Let's upgrade it. Which one's that? A roller coaster, let's upgrade. So, I haven't really gone over it. The ride upgrades. What it does is it increased the speed where it's safe, which is the green part. Um, so basically, it increased the reliability where our it increased where the safe area is, basically. I could increase the speed of this ride, but it would make it less safe, less reliable. Golly, I need a, I just need a janitor over here. People keep blowing up these bathrooms. It's because I eat hot dogs and getting gassy. This ride is just great. So please oh, no, keep the satisfaction customer satisfaction tanked. on it as high as you can. It chow. Oh, it's just gonna say about twenty percent, but Deleting email simulator. Just like real life. I think of all the all the um, High five! You've met the challenge yay. and the prize is yours. Of all the things that I've learned from video games, deleting emails. Gosh. There's another themed zone in the pipe. Okay, and this is this is a really big annoying thing with this game is now I have to go back to Christmas Land to get my promotion. But I just got settled in here. I want to keep playing here, you know. 57 people out there. What's another challenge we could do? Customer happiness, staff happiness, Relation? charity field, staff happiness. Hey, rules. hi! Let's increase visitor happiness as much as we can. Good vibes for what all. Is that? See? Visitor happiness now. 
Oh yeah, that's gonna have to come up a good bit. Yeah, let's. I am going to put a break right here, and we're going to start the next episode in Christmas Land. <laughs>